reality check man from a year device and you know say aromatic realistic tv anyway peeps this morning i not even have any time for waste you know but you know i still want to continue with this young man akif nugent you know from coburn garden um otherwise known as um cockburn pen and he is the youth advocate for his community and a lot of us you know may look on it and take it simple but it's not simple enough you know? this young man taking on a task to himself because you see where there's a void where there's a vacuum is created over the years you understand to distract and to destroy and to separate the youth to bring out the worst of them and to separate them and to turn them over to either JLP or PMP and gang violence but I'm saying this to Jamaica that the role that young Akif is doing is the responsibility of the Commissioner of Police the Minister of National Security and the Prime Minister of Jamaica do you know that this young man is doing this from 2017 and he's now 13 years old so if that's the case he's been doing this from he was seven years old and we have to take this into consideration so the prime minister of jamaica and you own this is his constituency is Andrew Owen's constituency so if this young man been doing this for about six years now in the prime minister community and he don't know it simply means just say the prime minister now at the ground the Prime Minister don't know about the ground. He don't know what they go going around there, sir. Six year a project like this been taking place now for six years. And you don't aware of this? He said, I want to bring back the peace in my community. I want to bring back the kids them together. So that they can live in unity again and this is not just touching the kids because every kid of a parents and if your parents sit down and say we're a little 13 year old is making impact with your child it's gonna make an impact on that individual as well so his impact is not about touching just the youths it's also touching the parents and to know that this young man was willing to make that sacrifice give up his break time to do some of his homework to make sure when he reach home the assignment can start on time You have to think about that, you know. He give up all of his freedom. Put in the sacrifice to make sure that this thing work. And to see him out there begging corporate Jamaica. That simply means to say nobody don't know about him. So if we don't have the Prime Minister around, where is the caretaker? Caretaker is missing, where is the councillor? The councillor is missing. Where is the councillor caretaker? The councillor councillor caretaker is missing as well. And as I said before, this young man is playing the role of the prime minister. 
Andrew Olness, the Commissioner of Police Anthony Anderson, the Minister of National Security Arish Chang. This young man is playing their role. So I'm wondering to myself what they are saying. Because what he is doing is that what Anderson and Chang and Andrew Olness should be doing. Try to put more programs like these in place to capture the unattached youths. Because if you catch the youth them from early, you know, less problem for you down the line. Because what you're going to do, you're going to groom them and you're going to instill discipline in those youth. So they will grow up with their moral standard. Know what is expecting of them from what is not. Know what is wrong from right. If we catch them from early. And this is what a key new gent is doing. Catching them from early. Catching the anat Catching the unattached youths from early. You understand? So we don't want nobody to use him for a poster boy or a poster child. Because he shouldn't be out there begging and pleading for corporate Jamaica support. You understand? When we are doing good, there is nobody to see us. Mr. Prime Minister, when the youths they are doing good, there is nobody to see them. But you busy to go down by White River and take with the youth them raft. You're busy to go over Clifton and lick down people's house. You're busy to go into the market and take with the eagle of them clothes. Take with the little vendor them tomato and them, them honey and. You're busy implementing new rules and laugh at the taxi operator them for left with a little picnic them on the roadside. And a young man like a Keith Nugent who is in your constituency doing this work for the past six years and you don't know about him. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. So when you call him for your photo apps to come in your office and then wait if you come sit down and come talk and all of this thing like where it's a damn shame because a young man is a part of your constituency and he's doing this for the past six years and you don't aware of it. And you don't aware of it, Mr. Prime Minister. Mr. Prime Minister, you only busy taking away Jamaican beaches, selling them out to private sectors. Harassing taxi man, taking away people raw from down by Milk River, mashing up their stall, taking away their goods, leave them out there high and dry. Those are the things that you're busy about, Mr. Prime Minister. The interest is not there for the people because if you did have the interest for the people, a program like this in your constituency has been going on for the past six years and you don't aware of this? You are not in touch with reality, Mr. Prime Minister. You are far, far away from the reality because that's your ground, you know. Are your constituency, that's your ground and you don't know what they take place in there because if you did, this is going on for six years. And it is a viral video that brings this young man to your attention. Think about it, Jamaica. It's a damn shame. But anyway, stay tuned to Aromatic Realistic TV. Like and share. Follow me over YouTube, you know. It's never too late for your show, Ariel. Don't. Walk and live good. That I'm good road. I'm out. <laughs>